Good day and welcome, Zongo here, with another gameplay video for you. This time we are taking a look at one of... <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bit antsy this game, I guess. <laughs> this time we are taking a... Get off me, slug. Seriously, that's inappropriate. Anyway, as I was trying to say for the last, like, ten minutes... Somehow it's only 10 seconds, but okay. Well, shit. Okay, this is going fantastically. I don't like doing replay thingies. Commentaries. Because this always happens, and then I end up trying to re-record and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. I'm. Why am I doing a replay commentary? Because this game was really fun, and NVIDIA... She uh, shadow play didn't capture the entire thing because it was 30 minutes long. So, yeah. <laughs> it, and I think this is really something that is worth watching. I, uh, let's speed this up a little bit until the first mortal spawns because that's when things really get interesting. Uh, as you can probably infer by me saying that, um, you know, this is a comeback video, and, you know, I'm uploading it, well, we were losing extremely hard. Like, after this first Immortal, anyway. Like, our core got down to 13%. I'm here just trying to buy time for my team. We are slowly making headway on their mortal. I definitely think I would have been better served to have gone up here and helped my team instead. But, ah, uh, whatever. And I'm derping up, obviously. But it doesn't matter because we still get this. Oh, let's look at everyone's talents, particularly... Ah, uh, I, I do it in the post-game wrap-up. So, nah. Thankfully, um, he doesn't continue to pursue, which saved me from dying. This immortal ultimately doesn't get much done. It gets a gate, and that's about it. So, yeah. Slightly demoralizing since nothing happened for our team. But, hey, we won the Immortal overall. That's nice. No one's really entirely uh, demoralized yet. And down here I'm trying to keep track of the Immortal spawn timers, which is really hard to do in a live game commentary. But, and I think I kind of messed it up. I'm not entirely sure I'd have to recheck that to be certain, but still. So, let's go up to the Kael'thas's. Oh, no, we're just leaving. Okay. Hmm, pretty. And here, he gets caught. Brawl wasn't, was not anticipating my stun. So it's pretty understandable that he missed. Still kind of sucks. But it didn't matter anyway. And he missed again. Man, Thrall is the entire reason we, like, lost and shit. And here I am realizing from my mistake last time that just trying to distract the enemy by going on defense is not the way to win. So, I went over to attack instead. A bit ahead of my team, but <clears throat> it worked out. We killed Kel'Thas. He nearly killed me without even trying to focus me. And here, we just trickle in one by one. And we get picked off. Yeah. And this thing stopped. Go. It was situated right behind me. I could not move out. 
I saw Falstad, and I knew the stun was up. I was anticipating that I'd have a better way to, like, get out right after poking down the Immortal and progressing the objective. I should have waited for my team. And now, as I said, we trickled in one by one, me dying yet again. Yet again. Twice in, like, a minute. And, yeah. <laughs> and, Thrall here has not learned the lesson of our most recent events. Uh, I hesitate rather reasonably because... This was still going on, and their entire team was there, so, yeah. We just basically let this fall. Ilden goes in for some defense. But what's a melee character going to do against three guys? And I think Falstad actually picked up the stun. Let's check if that's true. No? No. Okay. But still, Mighty Gust was more than enough to deal with Ilden when you've got Greymane. Yeah. This was the start of our downfall, as you can probably predict. We lost two forts in a single immortal phase. That was terrible. And then they just yank map control from us. Ilden trying to shift the blame to the abilities. Fine, that is an issue, but still. Sergeant Hammer starts all capping. And we get picked off. I tried to stun, er, stun him. But a summoned skeleton blocked it. That sucked. <laughs> I was not happy of, about Falstead. Not one bit. Our, our morale is just tanking. <laughs> Absolutely tanking. But I still try and, <laughs> and keep everyone together. We are splitting up once again to try and go for the kills. I think I end up not dying. Okay, never mind. But I do waste my ultimate trying to scare him off. Very good job baiting out my ultimate. And here we try to do stuff, but these guys just wander around. <clears throat> and so no damage really, dealt to the immortal with this phase. And I comment on it. Yeah, this is not going well. <laughs> As I've said several times. And the most hilarious thing is going to happen here to me in just a moment. So, yes. Trying my hardest to DPS down this mortal and also zone back the enemy with my occasional flame strikes. Er, yeah, flame strikes. And so. <laughs> uh, Sergeant Hammer is like, here, I've got a gift for you! <laughs> uh, yeah. We had no idea where their team had gone. I expected them to be up at the top mercenaries. They were at bottom, so Thrall was safe. I still didn't want him to get picked off. We figured they were going for the top mercenaries. Oh, they Dara actually messaged me? I didn't notice. I was kind of tryharding at this point. Hmm. Yeah. We were really late on getting this mercenary camp. We should have 
like, this was a very good call on their part. Yeah. Oh, wait, I think Thedar is at... I'm doing a replay commentary. We are... Uh... <laughs> you... You are ruining it. And so we basically give the Immortal for free. I throw out the Phoenix to try and zone. And we catch Asmodan being a bit too overconfident. They disengage successfully and then come back in for some reason. And then I was just caught in continuous CC. Also, I was really far forward trying to get that kill. But... Wait, did I not die? Um, wait, what? Uh, oh, I think that was just Illidan. I backed out as soon as we got the first kill on Greymane. <clears throat> yeah, they Daro threw me for a loop. <laughs> I did not know you could whisper someone while they were doing the watching replays. I don't know if there's a way to prevent that either. Oh well. So, we've now got lost both keeps in less than 17 minutes. They have both keeps up, or both forts up at full. This is terrible. My team's going to start to say, good game, this is over. Yeah, we just cannot win. However, I knew that, or at least really did not want to give up on my 100% win rate, which has still yet to be broken after three days. So, yeah. The new Kalthos is pretty powerful. And so, just after the things get killed, we need to go to the Immortals as soon as possible. I'm going to start this off with a fe Oh, I thought uh, Kalthos was here. So, I wanted to catch him using my stun. That didn't work because he wasn't there. But what we do is clear, clean them up, or er, lower them so that Ilden and can come in, fight off the back line, while Brawl and him do stuff, resulting in four people dead. And well, yay. And I really, really have to credit Ilden here. Him saying this, they may rush, is what actually pr provokes us to, at least me and Sergeant Hammer, to stay down there. And once Asmodan and no one else seems to, like, reveal themselves, this is when I'm starting to say, uh, this is odd. So I just throw out a flame strike. And, yeah. Come back to defend. Throw out my Phoenix to pop the mount and hopefully delay them. Discourage them from moving in. Use my Phoenix reposition to, well, reposition the Phoenix. We chase down Falstad. I probably could have been better used here, but whatever. 
we got him, wiped them all out, and still have the immortal going. We maybe could have uh, ended here. Maybe. I highly doubt it. But we do get a good bit of damage off. And this is where our game, our, um, how do I say? Our team stop, uh, gets its act together. And we try clawing tooth and nail to get this game back. Yeah. I just felt that there was really no way we could have taken this by the time they respawned. And if we were he still here by the time they respawned, we were going to die. And then, if we died, they would rush through. We no longer have any damage to ward them off. And, yeah. So it was far too risky to try and end it there when we didn't need to. <clears throat> so, this is... Actually, let's look at the talents real quick because this is one of, one of the major things that I think... No, not really. But, yeah. I picked up Mana Addict. On this map? Why? Well, because infinite mana means infinitely spamming on the morals, which has which shows very well in the siege damage compartment department compared to Kelthos, the enemy Kelthos. <clears throat> I've had to retreat more often because I didn't have extra health and couldn't regenerate it, but I'm doing more damage to the Immortals. And that's really why I'm thinking that Mana Addict is really good on this map. Despite it being even harder to actually get the defensive ability, uh, Arcing Barrier quest done. <coughs> However, it does get done within this game. And at that point, I just become stronger and stronger as the game goes on. And they've still not been able to close out this game. We kind of wasted that immortal, but it did something. The I clicked to go up here and pathfinding was like Oh, you wanted to go down here? That's nice. Ha ha ha. I was... I needed a comma there to say, They are coming, so set up to gank. So, because I knew they wanted the mercs. I didn't expect them to take it quite so quickly, though. So, this is about to respawn. And we are going to... AFK alert. I didn't see that in the game. I'm pretty sure that's not a whisper. So, yes. Hmm. Let's speed this up a little bit. Since nothing really happens. I ping for them to come take this and destroy it. We are really on our... Uh, on the edges of our seats because... Well... One good throw will just end it for us. I sent that out because I expected them to be milling about here. Ilden, luckily, <clears throat> catches the guy who catches me. Ilden needs to back out here, but it ended, out, ended up being okay. Not great. Would have been fantastic if Ilden lived, but... It was okay, and we are able to get a little bit extra damage off on the Immortals. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah. <clears throat> so, here we get Avatar makes the order to heal and recall. Recall. <laughs> Asmodean. Good job. So, we retreat and regroup so that we can fight as a team. Good, good. I'm wait he sitting here waiting for them to move in, so I try and do that. Unfortunately, his natural speed boost allowed him to get out of the immortal stun as well. Uh, no, let's, no, nah, let's not go back. The duel used his ult, so I used my ult to counter his ult by killing it. And at this point, I picked up the Sun King's Fury, which allows me to get bonus damage when auto-attacking a target that I have um, Living Bomb on, which will contribute heavily to my siege damage. <clears throat> yep, I hate <laughs> Gust of Wind as well. I am just sitting here soaking up the Phoenix hits. I don't want our immortal to lose. <clears throat> so it was better to lose that shield than to lose health on the immortal. Because they definitely were not moving in. And now Thrall, uh, Thrall's copy rather, moves in and just basically forces them to not attack the immortal. And woo. That was a trial. I expected ill I expected more damage to come out of Greymane, so that's why I told him to be careful. But then I remember oh right, Ilden's immune to everything auto attack. So yay. I ping to hit the core. Thrall and them ping to go top. I go bottom for some reason. I want to delay them off of the immortals so that, you know, we get the bonus damage from them from the immortal. Probably not a good idea. Also, probably not a good idea. Boom. Sundering. <laughs> Abs. <laughs> so, yeah. Didn't need that Sundering if I hadn't recalled my Phoenix. Which was a stupid move. I panic clicked it. But still. That was fun. And really close to breaking my 100% win rate. So, yay. Have fun, and have a good day. And I'll stitch the end of match replay thingy on the end of this. Well, holy crap. I did not plan to record that video, and in fact it seems as though the uh, last little bit where Thrall came in at 2% and Suicide Sundering the core and won the game for us was apparently cut off. Damn you, NVIDIA Shadowplay. But at least you got the vast majority of that um, game. <laughs> Which, well, vast majority? Yeah, roughly 66% of it. That was a. I was tryharding really hard. <laughs> Uh, that was really fun. So, let's look at our talents. I picked up Mono Addict. Why would I pick this up on the worst map for collecting region globes? Because, as I said in my guide, this is for when you just want to infinitely spam, and yeah. So... I want to infinitely spam on top of the Immortals, so I picked it up. Same with Monotap. Sunfire Enchantment, 
because it's the most reliable talent at that tier. You would get more damage from the, how would I say, gravity lapse talent, potentially, if you always hit, and yeah. But I hate that playstyle, so I'm not going to use it. Phoenix. Because it's allowing zone of control around our immortal, which needed to be defended really hard. And then Pyromaniac. Because I'll get to spam even more because I've got these. So just throw down as many spells as possible. And boom! Doing a ton of damage to the Immortals. And then Sun King's Fury. Again, mostly to do damage to the Immortal. And Rebirth. Doubles the duration of the Phoenix, which I am using as siege damage. And to zone off the enemies from our Immortals, and to kill their Immortal. So, this is the best ultimate for this map, for the playstyle I'm using Phoenix with, so yeah. I, I really want to know why Phoenix is spelt with an O, but whatever. Meanwhile, he took up Fell Infusion, a much safer talent, as you can, yeah. And Netherwind, which I really don't understand. I guess he was really afraid of Ilden, which, okay, I guess I can understand, but Netherwind isn't going to help against Ilden. He's gonna be in your face all the time if he's gonna be attacking you. So yeah, Sunfire Enchantment, Phoenix, you notice that he um, really didn't use Phoenix all too much, except when he was expecting a full-on team fight, so I got infinitely more phoenixes out than him. Pfft, infinitely, yes, clearly. <sighs> Whatever. Fission bomb. This makes sense on this map because of how tight the how to say map is, battlefield is. So yeah, it makes sense, but it's not going to get you the. Siege damage, as Pyromaniac does. Twin Spheres? I'm not really sure why he picked that up. It's one of the lowest win rate talents. And the other ones... Like, he didn't even pick up his Mana Return talent here. So... Not sure what he was doing here. And Master of Flames, in theory, if we were getting caught up in each other enough, like we were in the early game, then this might have been a good talent, but as you saw, it basically did nothing. So, comparing my stats uh, to their stats, to their Kel'Thas' stats, 49,000, er, let's see, he's the highest hero damage in the game, 73,000, while I am at 72,000. That's pretty comparable. Now, siege damage, 192,000.999. Like, can you not round up? <laughs> Uh, whatever. Meanwhile, Kel'Thas has 150,000 less siege damage using his build. Which is fairly significant. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little comeback and my overall expo- Ah. Uh, how to say. Look back on the stats, on the game through the stats. And have fun. <laughs>